hey guys what's up welcome to another video so um this video is going to be the start of a new project that i want to do it's going to be the start of a dress a month in 2021 or 12 dresses of 2021 I'm not really sure what to call it yet but um i had noticed that a lot of people really really liked that video that i made uh, a few months ago about the boho maternity dress um it kind of started to pick up a little bit of steam and everybody's been messaging me and telling me how much they loved it they've been sending me pictures of dresses they've made based on that kind of it wasn't really a tutorial but it was kind of just like this i called it a saga like a long saga of me making this dress just kind of like very like vlog style i have also gotten a lot of requests for a tutorial like with measurements and how much fabric to buy and step by step I've gotten a lot of requests for that too and I do want to do that don't get me wrong like I do want to do that this is not that video this is something else this first one but my next one will be that video it will be the sleeves measure this by this skirt measures this by this so here cut here it'll be very like tutorial on how to make that certain style of dress this one though this one's going to be my first dress that i just kind of want to make and so it's going to be a little bit more vlog style um but let me tell you about this dress first so this dress it's going to be a dress that's been inspired by a dress that i borrowed from a boutique they sent it to me to photograph this is the dress so i borrowed this dress from a boutique and i photographed it and i get compliments on that dress all the time people ask me like oh is that a part of your client closet oh do you rent that dress out where did that dress come from you know or clients who know i have a client closet like oh tell me that's a piece that you have and i can use it unfortunately it's always no <laughs> the answer is always no i photographed this dress i had it like for one weekend and i had to send it back so I figured that my first dress in this 12 dresses of 2021 that I would try to kind of not replicate but just make a dress that's kind of inspired that by that something that I'll photograph kind of similarly so that's where I'm at with that so it took me so this I'm actually filming this on February 1st so I've definitely missed all of January so I'm already a dress behind so I might be making this dress and the other dress with the tutorial videos at the same time, but this dress will be my first one. And hopefully I can knock it out in a few days. Let me show you the fabric. This is the fabric that we're gonna use. I don't know if you can, like if it's gonna focus on that or not. That's the, I was showing you the back side. But it's just this really pretty um, like embroidered tool and it's just blue, it's gorgeous. Obviously you saw it photographs very well. I'm not 100% sure that this is the exact fabric that was used for the other dress, but that's okay because we're being inspired by, we are not copying. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start that. I do have to run and do a few things in a little bit, like I need to get something to tie it with that matches. I'm not sure if I wanna do anything like how I did tassels on the other sleeves. I think this might be too delicate for any kind of like sleeve design, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm excited. So if you're excited to see how I make this, I will still kind of like I did in the other video, I will still kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Again, it's not going to be a tutorial. I'm sorry about that. But the tutorial is coming, I swear. This one's gonna be, I am gonna make this one a little bit different, like I have lots of ideas. I'm gonna make it a little bit different than the other dress and a little bit different than the dress that I'm gonna do the tutorial for. So that's why I'm like, um, I'm kinda trying something new with this one, so I don't even know if I can talk my way through it, kinda like the first dress. I didn't know what I was doing, I was just kind of like, hey, I'm gonna make a dress. So that's where we're at. All right, so when I start sewing, I guess I will check back in. I do wanna start it today, like today's Monday. I do want to start the dress today. So to pull everything out, sewing machine and everything. Um, I do wanna start it today and I hope to have it done by Wednesday. Like I do just wanna knock this out in a couple of days. I will see you later. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I'm all over the place. My office is a mess. 
And I'm trying to clean it up like enough <laughs> to start cutting fabric. So I think that's good enough, I don't care. Okay, so right now I'm going to work on this skirt a little bit. I have six yards of this fabric. I'm do going to cut one yard off for the sleeves. I don't really have measurements for the sleeves, but I know that that's plenty for the sleeves. Then I am going to use the five yards that are left for the skirt part of the dress. And actually for the skirt, um, the dress that I had borrowed from the boutique was just a plain skirt, but I really wanna do a skirt with a slit in it. I know, why not keep things simple? Let's get to it. to save you from what I did and now what I'm redoing, I'll just kind of explain to you what I'm doing. Um, this was supposed to be a gathered skirt, but I didn't like the way it looked gathering, so I really wanted to just change it to pleats. That's what I was doing at 5 a.m. I was repleating the top of the skirt. Yep. Pleats all done. With the sleeves, I know I wanted this pretty little trim to be kind of in the bust area. So I just turned off the extra tool. And then I folded that whole yard of fabric in half. And that made the sleeves. Hey, so I've been working on this all morning. Um, this is where I'm at. So I have the skirt. I have the skirt kind of tacked with just like one stitch. And then now I have the sleeves that I'm going to sew on. So I kind of, um, I folded this over. I was just really afraid that the embroidery was going to like fray at some point. And I didn't want that. So... I have the sleeves. I'll show you what it'll look like. So this will be the front of the dress. I don't really know like how to explain it, but it'll be sewn like this, if that makes sense. So you won't see this, you won't see this. It'll just be like this. Make sense? I will definitely show you when I'm done, but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, okay, hello. So we have this sewn on here. We have, so it's just the front of the sleeves and I need to connect them in the back still and add the tie. But holy moly, there's our slit. It's kind of a little more, the slit's a little more like on the side than I wanted, but I think it'll be fine. So we need to figure out a tie for the dress. I have some of the white cording that I used for the other dress, but I don't know if I like that for that. Like it would just be like white. I think I'm gonna have to go get like a blue, even if it's just a ribbon or something. I need a new chair. <laughs>
string did not turn out like I wanted it to. It's kind of like a green color. It's like it's not as stark white as it was. But like it's also not blue. It's like this weird green color. Oh well I tried and now I have to go to the store. So I'm gonna do that. Hey. I think I'm done. So I had to go to Walmart and I got some cute little like lacy ribbon and that worked great for the tie but let me show you see I got this tie it looks super cute I also put a piece of you know the tool the tool that I cut off of here the tool that I cut off of here, I just kind of used for a cute tie in the back. I remember that kind of being an issue with the boutique dress was that it kept falling off the shoulders because there was nothing like holding it at the top. So I'm hoping that this tie here will kind of help that. Um, so the only thing that I'm deciding on is the slit ended up being kind of weird. It's not in a good place. I don't know, because again, I'm bad at math and I probably measured wrong. The slit that I wanted ended up being like kind of in the back, so I might just sew that up or like partially sew it up, because like you go to stick your leg out the slit and your butt hangs out. <laughs> so I might just sew that up or I might leave it. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but the only thing I'm deciding on is in the original dress, there were slits in the sleeve. So like from here down and the sleeve was like open so it was only like attached here and then the sleeve was like cut open and I'm deciding if I want to do that or not I'm not really sure but yeah I'm done now I just have to plan a shoot to use it I will keep you posted mm -hmm.